What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video, we got a pretty uh, fun set to, sh to watch, um, submitted by uh, Aaron Videra. So thank you so much for uh, the battles. And let's just get into it because it's late again. You know, I always put off filming until the last minute. <laughs> it's like almost 2 a.m. But let's just get into it because some of these matches are pretty interesting. So, oh, probably should mention the team. Sableye, uh, Marowak, and Return Sableye, and then also Azumarill. Pretty much a staple in Go Battle League. Um, either if you're not running it, you should be running counters to it. And so that's pretty much the name of the game in Great League. But uh, the double ghost strategy is definitely very interesting. So let's see how the double ghost like strategy works out in uh, this set. Okay, so his first opponent is Lu All Tinder, and we're gonna see what we lead here. We lead into a Obstagoon. So this is an interesting matchup because Obstagoon, I believe, triple resists the the ghost typing because he's dark and normal, and so. The Shadow Claws aren't going to do any damage, so really your only move here is to go with Return. That's the only move you, really you can do. Foul Play won't do much damage at all. And let's see if he lands it. And he does land it. Oh wow, okay, so interesting, interesting. I probably, I mean hindsight's 2020, but I think I would have maybe shielded that because why else would a Sableye stay in that matchup? But you know, maybe his opponent wasn't, wasn't expecting it, or maybe was expecting a shield bait. Um, but yeah, anyways, they both switch out. Uh, the pony switches in the Hypno into the Azu, which probably means the Hypno's, uh, the Hypno's running Thunder Punch, which it was. And so that's kind of a, a hint. Like if, if you have Azu and your opponent switches in a Hypno, they most likely have Thunder Punch, so just be careful for that. Um, and uh, Aaron's actually running a Play Rough Hydro Pump, you know, ver variation of Azu, which is probably the least most common, I think, moveset. But right now, neither of them are using shields, so it's <laughs> reminding me of two videos ago where no one used shields the entire match. But finally, a shield comes out for the Night Slash, so that was a good shield there. And then, so in this case, against an Azumarill, you have to go uh, Shadow Ball, and he does land it. So that was a good land. The opponent's still not using shields. Um, so now he switches into Sableye, but you have to... Yeah, he shields the Play Rough, so that was a really good shield there. Um, yeah, I mean, if that was Hydro Pump, you also probably should shield it. Okay, so Return, definitely the move to go with, and the Azu is going to finally put up a shield. And this is going to be pretty close. Uh, I forget what the Azu's other move is. I know it has Play Rough, and yeah, if that was Hydro Pump, that would have been bad. Ice Beam wouldn't have done much damage. So we have a shot to win this. So let's see, Bone Club. Um, I'm anticipating a shield coming up. I mean, it does come up. And so then another Bone Club. This should knock out the Azumarill. Yeah, it does knock it out. Oh man, this is close. The fighting moves are resisted. Oh man. <laughs> Simultaneous KO. Oh, you hate to see those. That's the one. I mean, other than lagging out, that to me is like the worst way to lose because like no, no one gets a win. It just sucks for everybody. But anyways, okay, game two. We have uh, Galarian Stunfisk. And this is definitely going to be an uh, interesting matchup. Probably just go straight foul play here. Um, the Rock Slide will do a big chunk of damage. So not something you want to just tank too many of. And then he decides to switch out. Okay, so now he's coming in with Alolan Marowak. And that's fine because the Azu can also counter it. So by not putting your best counter in, you kind of keep that option to line it up later down the road. So that's a good switch. Of course, they're going to come in with Azu, so this is going to be an uphill battle, but if you can land a Shadow Ball, that's always a good strategy. So he's going for the bait there, does not succeed, as opponent doesn't shield. What else is new? I don't think a lot of people shield these days. <laughs> but anyways, I think I must have missed the first shield though. But anyways, my apologies. Okay, so this is going to be an Ice Beam, Marowak's going to go down. And now we have a shield advantage, so that's good. And this is the, the prime scenario where you want to run play rough. A lot of people run play rough literally specifically for this reason. It's not really to counter any of the dark types. It's not to counter Sableye. It's to counter Azumarill in the, in the mirror match. So, okay, they switch into Ferrothorn and uh, he switches into Sableye. Uh, he's able, he shields the power whip. So now we're even in shields. Foul play is going to be a good move to go with. And this will do some chunk damage, but it's actually shielded. So now the opponent now has no shield, so this is going to be an interesting situation. 
Um, that Ferrothorn charges up super fast though with Bullet Seed. So it is a tough Pokemon to beat if you do not have something that can counter it. Uh, obviously fire is the best or fighting, but uh, if you don't have like a flying move or even an ice move, it's going to be hard to beat this thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so as you has a play rough ready to go. And uh, obviously the Ferrothorn is low enough where that would take it out. And now this would be a good situation to have an ice beam just to kind of get it off in time. But um, it's going to take a while to charge up and then he switches out. Ooh, this is rough. That was actually a rough. Oh, that's a rough play. So yeah, I don't think I don't think this Azu is gonna have enough. I mean, this will KO the the, the Azu Meryl for sure, but that Stunfisk still has a little bit of health. Oh man, this that was close. That was a very close game. So okay, first game literally was one quick move away from being a win. So that was a tough. That's like a tie and a loss. So we're like oh one and one right now but I guess in terms of go battle league you're 0 2 <laughs> so it's a pretty harsh pretty harsh system but yeah so this lead a little bit better I think um, the foul plays will definitely do more damage against this cast form but the cast form can charge weather ball really fast so you gotta watch out for those uh, so definitely gonna go with the foul play here and this will let's see if it goes shielded no shield. So you see how much of a chunk that does. That is a big chunk. That's, Sableye is such a good Pokemon for that reason. It does very, very good neutral damage to a lot of Pokemon, and it can charge it pretty quickly. And um, yeah, so Sableye is pretty nice. And not many people are running fairies these days, which is another reason why uh, Sableye is good, because you're not going to run into a lot of Pokemon with fairy moves. I mean, even this Azumarill is not mo the most common to run into a play rough, but it is becoming, I think, more common lately. But still, I mean, it's still a solid pick, I think. Okay, so Skarmory. Definitely need to hit with the Hydro Pump if you can. But he decided to switch out. If you had Ice Beam, probably would have stayed in. Because you could still do a lot of damage with Ice Beam. But um, since you don't have it, you gotta switch out. Okay, so they switch into Stunfisk. The rock, the rock moves are super effective. So you gotta watch out for those Rock Slides. Um, you could probably, I believe actually, the more energy efficient move is Shadow Ball. But... If you don't have time to get to it, you gotta go Bone Club. Uh, so that's definitely the move to throw if you think you're not gonna get to a Shadow Ball. So otherwise, I do think Shadow Ball is a little bit better to throw. Um, but yeah, so that's enough. You don't need to throw Shadow Ball there because you can just knock it out. And the opponent quits. So now, all right, making a comeback. So we're one and two in the set. And let's see, uh, Ninja Mook is the next opponent. And let's see if we can pull off another win to, ke to come back here. Okay, Breloom. Ooh, really spicy pick. Breloom, have, I don't think I've seen a Breloom this season. Maybe in the earlier, like the earlier matches up where everyone was using everything. But <laughs> other than that, don't really see Breloom that much. And they switch into their own Sableye. And that's good. You give, they gave up switch advantage. So uh, definitely can come in with Azumarill and just go straight play rough. But I would maybe over farm a little bit here. Let's see if he does that. Okay, one one extra bubble, and then this will be two extra bubbles once uh, this foul play comes through. So yeah, very good play there. Definitely not worth throwing the play rough. Now you have the energy, and this will go, let's see if it goes shielded. It does not go shielded, so Lantern saving those shields. Uh, probably figuring that this Azu has like Ice Beam or something. But definitely shields there. So um, yeah, definitely going to shield that one, and let's see. Azu has is not shielding this one. Gonna let it go down. Saving that shield for the Sableye, maybe. Or the Alolan Marowak. Either way, I think Alolan Marowak I would prefer to save the shield for because it's such a clutch Pokemon that you can you can close matches with. So I think but up oh, it comes up for the Sableye, so let's see. No shields. No one has got shields, so that's gonna be interesting. Ooh, this Thunderbolt I think will KO. Is Thunderbolt hits pretty hard. Yep. KO's a Sableye. And Marowak, I don't think it's gonna be... Gotta go Bone Club. Yeah, you can't farm that one down. It's too risky. Way too risky. So throws the Bone Club. Oh, and he switches out. Oh my gosh, Breloom. Oh, but Breloom's getting melted by these Fire Spins. Uh, fighting moves are resisted, so let's see what they throw. Grass Knot. Wow, for a resisted move, that hit really hard. That was crazy. 
But Alolan Marowak, I'm telling you, Alolan Marowak is such a clutch Pokemon. Like, talk about, like, just such a good closer. I, I mean, I just love Alolan Marowak for that reason. <laughs> you can win a lot of matches in the end game by keeping that thing alive. Uh, that Shadow Ball is such a clutch move. So now, two and two. Can we go one more win for the three and two? Let's see. Alolan Marowak. Okay, this is a pretty good lead. Shadow Claws are going to be doing super effective damage. And then Ferrothorn. Oh, is a perfect, perfect scenario. Dream scenario for Alolan Marowak. The Pokemon Ferrothorn is double weak to fire, so this is going to be a great uh, matchup. You don't really need to shield if you don't want to. Power Whip will not do much damage. Thunder will also not do much damage. Uh, this would probably be another Power Whip. Didn't get that much charging in. Okay, so Farms got a lot of energy, has switch advantage, can throw Shadow Ball. This will guarantee a shield. I would definitely anticipate a shield here. Okay, shield. <laughs> Okay, it's good to know that they're using shields. Okay, so we're going to have to let this go and go through. Yeah, it's not worth saving it at this point. But now you're back in with the Sableye, and then they switch out into Azumarill. That was a very, very good sack swap. I'm going to tank the Dark move with Azumarill, which resists it. And now we're in the Azumarill Mirror matchup. And yeah, their Pokemon, I guess their just opponent just gave up. Uh, yeah, that was going to be a good game anyways because the play rough was going to win that matchup. So despite that first match, it was so close to being a 4-1. But 3-2 and two is always good because you're going to gain points, albeit not that much. But <laughs> in fact, I just did a set where I went 3-2 and two and I gained 6 points. It was disgusting. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I need to get myself a return Sableye pronto because I still don't have mine. I have a bunch that I need to trade still. Uh, but yeah, I've been kind of slacking on that. So thanks again so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.